to today's video. As you see from the lovely title, I got a bunch of sports bras from Sport Check that I cannot wait to show you guys. This was probably one of my most successful hauls ever, so that's honestly exciting. There was a really weird element you'll see in one of the bras that I've never seen before, and I was kind of surprised, and I feel like they thought it was a good idea, but it honestly wasn't, so you'll find out if you watch this video. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe, it really supports me, and like this video so I, that I know if you like these like try-on hauls, because honestly I really like doing them. I got a lot coming in the mail, so there will be lots coming, so I won't spoil anything, but just as a heads up, there will be lots of hauls coming on my channel very shortly. So anyways, enjoy the rest of this video. Bra number one is this cute little blue bra. Honestly, it looked pretty dainty and I thought my girls were not gonna fit in it, but surprisingly, they did and they actually fit pretty well. Um, I'm normally a 32 double D. This is a size medium. All the bras that I got were size medium. So one thing I didn't like about this was that the cup pads were really annoying. They kept moving around and making like lumps and stuff and I just obviously really don't want that to happen. So that was frustrating. However, they are removable so like it's not really a big deal, but if you wanted the cup pads just know that they do kind of move around. I also didn't feel like I was going to fall out. I know there was like a lot of cleavage in it but I wasn't like falling out when I was bending over which I know a lot of times does happen so that's a plus. The back little knot on here was actually super cute and I just love the color. I thought it was like a really good fit. Um, I feel like it honestly is a true medium. It wasn't loose. It wasn't like tight. It was perfect. It was honestly pretty comfortable and it was only $42 and I think that's a pretty good steal. Like it's pretty cute. So I'm happy with it. The next bra is this pink like ribbed one. I did not know that it was 80 freaking dollars. So I'm just gonna start off by saying if it was half the cost, I'd be like, heck yeah. But $80 for this was kind of like steep. Mind you, it was high support. I really liked it. I like that they didn't have cup pads that were moving around. So just like you're stabilized, you're good. It was comfortable, but the actual band and material itself was kind of a weird material. I felt like it was kind of scratchy. So if I was sweating in the gym, I don't know how comfortable it would actually be. But overall, it was like a decent bra. I felt like I was like in there. It was a true medium. It wasn't too tight or too loose. It was, uh, it was pretty good. So if you're looking for something, I probably wouldn't recommend this one just because I find the price point is kind of steep and I think there's better bras for that price point. But that is my opinion on this one. The next one is this light pink one. It was $70 at Sport Check. And let me just start off by saying I couldn't get it on by myself. I had to run downstairs mid filming and be like, Kyle, can you please do up this clasp? Because the back is like a bra clasp. It was impossible to get on. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to do it like a normal bra where you like flip it around, do it, flip it back and try to lift it up. And then the straps were getting like caught in my neck and it was like, honestly, I was stuck like this. Like it was not cute. So uh, for that reason alone, I was like so turned off by it, but not going to lie. It was pretty comfortable. There's no like boob pads. It's formed. It's like a formed boob. And I kind of like that. Not going to lie. It looks good. Like when you're wearing active wear and stuff with it. So if you can get this bra on, I recommend it because it was actually pretty cute and comfortable, but to get it on was a little rough. So I can imagine if I was like sweaty and trying to get this on or off. I don't know why I'd be sweaty trying to get it on, but you know what I mean? So anyways, uh, yeah, if you can get it on, I'd get it. I would get it. Last but not least, this is the weird one. It might look pretty standard. Like when you check it out, you're like, okay, this is just like a normal Nike bra. However, it has that weird pull out cup system. And I don't know why they thought it was a good idea, but it's impossible to get it like straight and not clumpy. And it was really hard to get back in. So I don't recommend this bra for that reason. Uh, you might think it's like a cool idea like I did, but then when you actually try to do it yourself, you're like, this is just not executing well. Well. But the color is nice. It does run very small. I would not get a medium. I would have sized up to a large if I knew that because it was really hard to get on and I wasn't sweaty. So I could imagine trying to get this off after the gym. But that is my opinion on it. If you sized up and you don't care about the weird boob pad system, then you can give her. Also, this one was $46. So meh, it's like, it's kind of like a normal range for like a Nike bra, but I didn't love it. So so overall, if I was to choose, I would choose this pink one if I could get it on by myself and definitely this adorable blue one. It was so comfortable. It was different. I love the color. I have really like fair skin. So like this color against my fair skin was just popping. I freaking loved it. 
So I'm definitely liking this one the most. Um, even though the boob pads move around, I just, I just like it, you know, like it just had a special place in my heart, this bra specifically. So anyways, that is my honest review on these. Uh, hopefully you've bought your Christmas presents already because when I post this, this is probably going to be way after Christmas because I have a few uploads prior to this. With that being said, I hope you had a great Christmas, a happy new year, all that fun stuff. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I will do more of these videos because they are super freaking fun. Anyways, thanks guys, and I'll see you in my next video.